Hello and welcome everybody to today's edition of Mexico News Network's Breaking News Business here at the El Dorado Spa Resort in Mexico's Riviera Maya. I'm your host, Elliot Bullman. Before we start, remember to follow us on all our social networks, Facebook, Twitter and Google+. And you can catch us daily on MexicoNewsNetwork.com for relevant stories and news. Let's start with today's show. Production and exports of Mexico's most famous liquor, tequila, reached record levels in the first 10 months of 2016, according to the National Institute of Statistics and Geography, INEGI. Mexican tequila closed the year 2016 with a high note in exports, accomplishing the largest foreign shipping volume in one year, at least since the record keeping started in 1995. In that year, exports of tequila were 64.6 million litres. By 2016, they'd grown to 196.8 million litres with the US its main client, according to figures collected by the Tequila Regulation Council. According to Euromonitor specialist Rob Walker, tequila has reinvented itself in recent years, driven by an increase in boutique brands and celebrity appeal. Tequila is climbing the spirits ladder. From its lowly $5.3 billion sales in 2009, it's leapfrogged gin in the value rankings and is now worth $7.3 billion a year, says Walker. The analyst reckons the category will continue to grow, forecasting its value to increase by 37% to over $10 billion by 2019, roughly the size of the US whiskey market today. Walker's research suggests now that tequila is eating into the market share of both white and brown luxury spirits. Think Justin Timberlake's Sousa 901 or George Clooney's Casa Amigos. Ford Chief Executive Officer Mark Fields told CNBC that President Donald Trump was not the determining factor behind his decision to cancel Ford's new $1.6 billion plant in Mexico. In an interview on CNBC's Halftime Report, Fields said his decision not to move forward with the construction of the San Luis Potosi Mexico plant was due to market demand rather than pressure from President Trump. It's my firm belief that Fields was shoehorned by Trump into cancelling the deal with Mexico and that there's another agenda going on between them that has yet to come to light. But knowing Donald Trump, it won't be long before he lets the cat out of the bag. Mexican tycoon Carlos Slim is launching a new Spanish language television network in the United States in an effort to compete with Mexican media giants Univision and Televisa. The channel called Nuestra Visión, Our Vision, will feature programming tailored specifically to the Mexican audience with 100% Mexican content, said Publicidad y Contenido Editorial, which is launching the station. The company's strategy is to specifically target 35 million Mexican Americans, the largest segment of the US Hispanic audience, by offering 100% Mexican content made by Mexicans. The content that will be broadcast on the new television station will be provided partly by Claro Sports and Uno TV. Nuestra Visión will broadcast news, movies, and sports highlights. America Móvil said, stressing the company's pledge to be 100% Mexican and promote Mexico's heritage. I believe that by becoming the largest shareholder in the New York Times will now enable Carlos Slim to achieve a long-standing ambition, which is to offer pay TV in Mexico, thus breaking the duopoly of Televisa and TV Azteca. This was all for today. Thank you for staying with us. I'm your host, Elliot Bullman, here at the El Dorado Spa Resort in Mexico's Riviera Maya. Before we go, remember to check out all our social networks, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And stay tuned to mexiconewsnetwork.com for relevant stories and news. Until next time.